Now this video right here is going to be a bit of a different one. Normally, obviously, I'm quite jovial and funny. Well, obviously, your boy will still keep it funny, but still, listen. When I first saw this photo, all that came to my mind is, what a waste of life. People have been saying, oh, yeah, Shotty's still rocking the red. Yeah, he's still rocking the red. Listen, Shotty ain't rocking no red, yeah? When the judge gave him 10 years, he was crying. There weren't no rocking... Where was... It's Trey Way then. We don't bend... Initially, when he got to court, he was doing all these goofy things, talking about, you know, mate, we don't bend, we don't break. It was all fun and games. And that's the problem, you see. A lot of these people, a lot of these individuals, they think it's all a big game. They're making money on the street. It's easy money. It's quick money. It's all fun and games until the judge gives you your time. And what happened when the judge gave Shotty his time? In my bar, I'll understand. And I'm not... Listen, I think it takes a... I don't have a problem with people crying, actually. I think it is what it is, isn't it? But still, the message I'm trying to send out is start thinking about people. No one is invincible. Look at El Chapo. El Chapo's locked up. If anyone was going to make it in this trap game, it would have been the trap lord himself. Look at Pablo Escobar, dead at 40 or whatever it was. Escobar dead at 40, El Chapo as good as dead at 55. There ain't no longevity in this game. It is not. And that, and we're talking about the very top people. There ain't no longevity. Never mind Shotty. And what's most frustrating for me is, you see him here posted up in his grey jail overalls with a red chain on. This individual, unlike many people, many people get sucked into the the trap life, into the the street life because they don't have any opportunities. But what makes it, what makes his situation mad? He was managing the biggest thing to hit hip hop. Whether you think he's Goofy or yellow hair or whatever. No matter what you say. He was the bank. Now I, I think that Shotty actually did. Try to kind of look after 6 9 That said allegedly. He was whacking his babe mum. Sarah. So who knows. But anyway the fact of the matter is. All this stuff could have been easily avoided. These men rather than wearing. Your grey smelly stinky prison overalls. And be sleeping with one eye open. With a whole bunch of men. Trying to take your cheeks. Yeah, listen, what we know is, in jail in the US, you can't sleep with with both eyes closed. Some next some next sister will be coming to take them sheets. <laughs> be coming to take them cheeks, sorry. That's what will be happening. Yeah, that's not me. And that's, in your own lives, you should be hoping that's not you. And like I was saying, this Don Shotty could have been making, and 6 9 as well. He's got, he's not, he's going to be out soon, but still, same message. All these goofy people... Got a whole bunch of time. For what? What really was it for? And if you work out the maths. You'd have been better off. Just getting a normal job. But what makes this even more tragic. Is the fact that. I've just said there that. These individuals could have made more money. In a normal job. Because by the time you spent 20, 30 years in jail. Do the maths. You were better off. Just working in Walmart. But still. What makes this situation even more tragic. Is the fact that. Shotty. Mel Murder. All these individuals, they had a way out. They weren't trapped. They weren't in a trap. But still, look at everyone else as well. These guys ain't the only ones. Kodak Black. A whole, there's a whole bagger man doing these kind of antics. I just don't get it enough. People talk about how, oh man, oh the white man keeping me down. The white man keeping me down. Listen, is there racism in society? Absolutely. But people have got to make better choices. You've got to make better decisions in your own life. Especially when you have other options. And even if you don't have other, other options. This ain't, the street shouldn't be considered as an option at all. Unless you like wearing grey overalls. Unless you like worrying about getting your cheeks busted. I suggest you avoid that them things there by all means necessary. Look at all the so-called OGs. They go jail... And they ain't got no money to their name. They're Brock. What was it all for, really? 30 years in jail. What for? You've got no assets, nothing to your name. And no one don't care about, oh, man, he a real one. No one don't care about that. No one's interested in that. You, and by the way, your kids aren't interested in that either. Your kids are interested in, will dad be around? So take that lesson. It's easy to think. I know it's easy. When you, at the time, you think, oh, that's not going to be me, but... It is going to be you. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be you. Now, you can carry on going around thinking you're El Chapo, but when the judge puts that hammer down, that's what you've got to be thinking about now. Is it worth 
the hammer going down and you're getting double figures. And I haven't never been to prison, but if I've heard that time goes slow, prison time is a whole nother, and I can just imagine, it's a whole nother thing. In a dusty cell, with dusty mandem, stinky dusty dudes, etc, etc. Unless you, maybe, then again, maybe some of you man enjoy that. Maybe some of you man enjoy being posted up with a whole bag of man. And if that's your, if that's the case, then that's, <laughs> you man, <laughs> you man march straight forward. But just look at this general here, this general here, shotty. He had the world at his fingertips. He was managing 6 9 That there in itself, if they'd have concentrated on business and not on putting hits on this guy and not on trying to shot some whatever, narcotics. If they'd have concentrated on the business, this man could be a millionaire right now. Instead, like I keep saying, he's posted up in his grey overalls with his red Jesus piece on. That's what you got left. Oh, I'm on, I'm on nine tray blood. For all that nine tray blood in... They don't care nothing about you now. And, and what even is that? What even is? Oh, I'm a non trait. What even is that really? And people talk about the white man keeping people down. The real white man is the is the Crips. The real white man is the Bloods. That's if the truth be known. They are in themselves. They they're not spreading nothing positive. They are the epitome of indoctrination. If you think that is some, if you think throwing carrying carrying a set or or, or doing this, or doing that, or repping this and repping that. If you think that's productive, then that's your business. But that's the true white man. The true white man is the Crips and the Bloods. Because they ain't doing nothing positive for no one. Let's get it right as well. Never mind people going jail. How did you go to jail? Not only is what you're doing going to end up put you in a dodgy situation. Also, you're selling drugs to your community. You don't see the... Shot he wasn't shot in... in I don't know, Upper Manhattan. He wasn't doing it there. He was doing it wherever he was in the ghetto. So all around, it's just pure destruction. But anyway, these cats, they, they seem to enjoy what they're doing. So I think if you want to be stupid about it, then carry on, go forward. But don't be crying. It's no good to be. It's no good crying. If you are going to be part of the street life, yeah, you've got to make sure you are one trilly. Don't be crying when you get your time. Make sure you understand the consequences to your action. Don't do something based on the fact that, oh, it's not going to be me. Do it on the basis that when I get caught, I understand the consequences. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe, and your boy will be back.